Assessment of Competence The Competence Assessment Framework provides an integrated perspective on competence in a given context whilst additionally empowering the duty holders or the organization to benchmark each aspect, measure, assess and where necessary take actions to enhance various elements in the framework. This is illustrated in the Weighted Factors Analysis, WFA, schema of the latter aspects of benchmarking, evaluating, assessing and potentially enhancing competence are inherent in the underpinning WFA methodology and not elaborated here. The schema details are omitted and elaborated in the subsequent section. The Systemic Competence Assessment Framework The determination, benchmarking, evaluation and quantified performance assessment of six drivers and three inhibitor goals in the above WFA schema is carried out as follows. The requisite domain knowledge and understanding in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 1, G1, is broadly supported by relevant industry skill competence frameworks. There are a number of such frameworks in use largely within various engineering disciplines in the United Kingdom, for example, Singh, Ayers and IAT. Given the poor state of attention to competence and systematic approaches to its recognition, evaluation and assessment internationally, United Kingdom appears amongst the leading proponents globally. The composition and extent of skill and relevant experience in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 2, G2, in the assessment framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G2 into lower level WFA structures, the so-called level 2 and level 3 goals. This principally helps determine the driver and inhibitor goals for the higher level goal, the domain experience. The requisite psychophysical factors and behaviors in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 3, G3, in the framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G3 into lower level WFA structures in WFA. This principally helps determine the driver and inhibitor goals for motivational, behavioral and drive aspects. The essential determinants of efficiency and waste minimization in carrying out tasks in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 4, G4, in the framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G4 into lower level WFA structures that drive or inhibit this goal. The key determinants of quality, excellence and consistency in carrying out tasks in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 5, G5, in the framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G5 into lower level WFA structures, drivers and inhibitors, respectively. Finally, the degree of adaptability, innovation and creativity in a given context as depicted in the driver goal 6, G6, in the framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G5 into lower level factors relevant to this focus. Given the hierarchical nature of WFA schema, the so-called level 1 goals in the proposed individual competence assurance system are generic and universal. The decomposition of these goals into appropriate drivers and inhibitors in levels 2 and beyond will help tailor the generic model towards specific requirements of a given role in a given context. The driver and inhibitor goals in levels 2 and below in a competence role schema denote the specific measurable predictors for generic level 1 goals such as knowledge, experience, etc. Once a role is completely characterized through decomposition of the generic model, level 1, into a number of predictors, levels 2 and below, the schema is subsequently weighted by the same expert panel that have helped with the development of the schema. This assigns relative significance to the factors in the schema, thus rendering it compatible with the values, preferences and possibly culturally driven norms within the application environment. A calibrated schema is then reviewed, enhanced and validated for general application within the context of use. In an automated environment, a validated slash authorized schema can be assigned to every member of staff in a given role, enabling them to evaluate themselves against the criteria and develop a competence profile to establish the areas in need of further development. The key aspects and the extent of lack or inadequacy of relevant new learning in a given context of application as depicted in the inhibitor goal 1, G1, in the proposed framework are supported by subsequent decomposition of G1 into lower level WFA structures, the so-called level 2 and level 3 drivers and inhibitors in WFA. The key predictors and the extent of the absence or inadequacy of relevant practice in a given context as depicted in the inhibitor goal 2, G2, in the framework are supported by subsequent decomposition of G2 into lower level WFA structures. Finally, the degree of recurrent errors and violations in a given context as depicted in the inhibitor goal 3, G3, 
and the framework is supported by subsequent decomposition of G3 into specific predictors of these behaviors and outcomes in the schema. A suitably developed and validated WE-FA schema for competence assessment in a given role, context and or domain additionally requires a measurement scale for each goal, driver or inhibitor, as well the weights, i.e. the strengths of influences from each goal on higher level goals. Once established, the weighted framework lends itself to application for assessment and management of individuals or groups' competence in fulfilling tasks in the particular context as depicted by the framework. This would render a number of advanced features and benefits, namely up to five levels of competence typically comprising apprentice, technician, practitioner, expert and leader in a given role slash domain. Identification of the gaps in training slash experience slash mentoring requirements. A consistent and systematic regime for continual assessment and enhancement. Up to five levels of competence typically comprising apprentice, technician, practitioner, expert and leader in a given role slash domain. Identification of the gaps in training slash experience slash mentoring requirements. A consistent and systematic regime for continual assessment and enhancement. It should be noted that assessment here is devised and intended as a tool in the service of systematic approach to staff capability slash talent development and should not be misconstrued as an adversarial instrument for classification of people in an organization.